What's the weirdest thing you've seen happen at a friend's house that they thought was normal? When I was in high school, a friend asked me and two other friends to his house for dinner. His mom served homemade bean soup, which was very good. Toward the end of the main course, she brought out chocolate cake for dessert. She cut each of us a slice and plopped it into our bowls, in which each still had about an inch of soup. Us guests exchanged puzzled glances, but the family dug right in, so apparently chocolate cake soaked in bean soup was an ordinary thing for them. When I was like 10 or 11, a new kid moved into our town and started at our school. I was always super nice to new kids because I moved a bit and changed schools a bit and knew how hard it was. We made friends and he had me over for a sleepover. He decided to show me a Polaroid picture of his mother having sex with a dog. It was just like WTF dude let's play Nintendo. My childhood best friend lived with his grandparents. His grandfather was a clockmaker, he mostly restored them. Their large two-story houses walls were covered in old restored grandfather and cuckoo clocks. Each one had a small sticker with a number, so he could keep track of them all. The highest number one saw was over 700. I would say 25% of them were wound, so every hour you were treated to a symphony of clocks. I didn't appreciate it when I was a kid, but those clocks were fantastic pieces of workmanship. This happened when I was like, 6. I needed to use the bathroom at a friend's house, and he led me to his parents' bathroom. The place was filled with crap of all sorts. Boxes, magazines, an inflatable pool, lots of other stuff. You'd barely get in there. He pulled out a drawer from the installed cabinet by the entryway and said to pee in there. I thought he was joking until he went ahead and peed in there himself. I couldn't argue with that, so I too peed right in there. Then he shut the drawer and we went and played more Ninja Turtles. I have no idea what became of that drawer slash house slash family. Rich friend's family had rooms not touched in weeks that had vomit on the bed sheets from one of their parties. Someone was in the bathroom, so the kid who lived there went into the back garden, took a asterisk 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 in the flower bed, and shoveled dirt on top of it. The bathroom was free by the time he'd finished. Saw my friend spit in her house, straight onto the carpet. I didn't go back. When I was a kid the neighbor's TV was always at 75% volume or higher. They'd literally sit in the living room and scream at each other over the TV on blast. One time I was at my friend's house while his dad was working late. His mom brought home two Little Caesars pizzas for us, his brother and his parents. By the time his dad got home from work, there was no pizza. So his dad just made himself a salad for dinner and no one got screamed at until they cried. It. Well asterisk asterisk asterisk, I didn't see this coming. I have an opposite one, because I had the weird family. In high school I had a sleepover, and one friend went to the kitchen in the middle of the night, and saw my dad inebriated, in his underwear and stained shirt, on his knees in front of the fridge drinking mustard out of the bottle. Monday rolls around, and the rumors have spread, and I was like wait. All your dads don't do that too? Lol btw he did in fact have his own separate mustard bottle. I had a friend in high school whose mother was from Jamaica. His family would colon cleanse together every year. I guess it was customary from his mom's culture. So literally they'd take medicine to make themselves asterisk 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 their brains out for a day or two every year. Notable mention they only had one bathroom. Friend's amputee grandpa demanded to watch everyone in the bathroom when they went. He had a mirror so he could watch you. When I didn't fall for that, they put shampoo in my hair, so I'd have to take a shower. Nope the f out, and called my mom. Friend didn't think it was odd. Edit, lol 3 wholesome awards? Thanks. Edit, I think my fac edit didn't save one, did I tell my mom? No, I'd not. I felt embarrassed about it. 2. Who put the shampoo in my hair? My friend did. 3. I'm a woman. Uh, here's some random information. 
I remember my friend's dad having to piss with the door open so that grandpa could watch him do it. I also remember the grandpa pissing into a jug in front of everyone. I also remember crying and saying I wanted to go home and they wouldn't let me call my mom. So I kept crying until they finally gave in. X5, amount of smoke alarm battery warning beeps, all going off every 10 minutes. No need to replace the batteries. Just get used to the beeps going off randomly, and then sometimes all at the same time. How do you live, or even sleep with that happening? A neighbor's dad was an avid fisherman and he world used these electrode things in the lawn to get worms to come up, that he was gonna use as bait. He would also eat some of the first ones to come up to check if they tasted right, if not he would remove the electrodes and try again another day. Serve ice cream with their hands. When I was 9 or 10 I stayed at this friend's house for the first time. So we were sitting at the kitchen table eating noodles and his mum said something, to which he screamed back at her get asterisk 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 Sharon. She didn't even bat an eyelid, didn't even care. I couldn't help thinking what would happen if I tried that at home, it would have been at least an ass whooping. Everyone took their shirts off at the dinner table, yeah. My friend got backhanded across his kitchen. He slid across the floor to me. After about a five count, he got up and we went and played chess. His mom walking around topless barking at your list while we just sat around the coffee table working on homework. She was a single mom working multiple jobs. They were latchkey kids. They didn't even bat an eyelash, but the minute she saw a new face sitting on the rug boring a hole into the distant wall, she shifted on her asterisk dime asterisk. Ducked into the mudroom, threw on her bra and work shirt, and bought out a carton of Oreos from a secret stash, and was pretty much shocked into silence. I think she was terrified I'd misappropriated to my parents but all we cared about was cookies. A roughly 4 feet long python roaming free around the room at a gathering with guests. Snack was chill as asterisk 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 but still. Jesus. This thread is eat hot dogs with ranch or openly molested by family members with nothing in between. One of the first times I met my husband's family, I was over at their house and husband gestured for me to sit down and be comfortable. Their house was really very cluttered. Not quite hoarder cluttered, but close. They had a couple of couches facing each other, and then some other chairs. Not knowing the rules, I sat on one of the couches, which had a lot of stuffed teddy bears on it. OMG, you'd think I had sat down on live bears. There were probably 20 to 30 small, medium stuffed bears on this couch. Husband's mother and twin brother both visibly reacted, as if I had damaged the bears, not antique bears either. That was when I was told that the couch was for the bears, and only for the bears, and that no one was allowed to sit on the bears couch. Just the bears. The bears all had little beaded necklaces with their names on them to tell them apart, because they were all the same brand and style. My friend's mom always gave me a box of food when I came over. One day as I left she just handed me a box of Hot Pockets. As if it was just a small trinket. Mountain Dew with pancakes for breakfast the kids had fritters for teeth. Went to friend's house as a kid. Sitting at the dining table for lunch. Has phone rings. Everyone falls to the floor around me including the mum and dad. I'm the only one left sitting there. The dad informs me that I now must answer the phone. Hello. Jason's house. I hold the phone out to the dad. Uh, it's for you. Everyone laughs. I'm so uncomfortable. The next time that phone rang. I was the fastest to the floor I can tell you that. Such a fun loving family. Love going around there. In 6th grade I would go over to my friend's house. Her mom was very sexual. She would hardcore make out with her boyfriend on the couch in front of us kids. She once showed me a picture of a basketball team and said she dated every one of the men in that photo. The worst part is how she would rub her fingers against their little Yorkie's penis and say do you like your willy dilly rubbed? Ugh god damn you up for unlocking this memory. 
went to my friend's house after a high school exam. Walked in and his dad and stepdad were playing sorry while smoking cigars and his mom was making out with some random dude on the couch. She gave us $20 and told us to go get a couple large pizzas and come back. Don't know what was weirder that my friend was like it's not even my dad's week with me, all incredulous, or we got back that his dad and make out dude was gone. Table all set for pizza and his stepdad and mom acted like it was just a normal Wednesday. So when I younger my dad died. My mom remarried and had two kids. I was moved into the basement. Unfinished basement. I didn't think anything of it since I was 10. I had a sheet blocking my area from the laundry area. It had bare concrete walls, wood beams and piping across the ceiling and cement flooring. Used a heater and dehumidifier cause it was cold and humid. When I used the heater my parents would make my sheet an area around my bed, so it would heat up the space quicker. Parents didn't allow any of my friends over, and my brother and sister weren't allowed in my room. Distant family members also never stayed over, and when we had family gathering, I was told to go into the guest room instead of my room, while they were there. I thought cool, I have a huge room and no one can mess it up. My family would go on vacations yearly without me from when I was 12 till I was 18. I was the dog and house watcher. During one of those vacations, when I was 17 I invited a friend come over. They pointed out how asterisk 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 up it was that there were bedrooms fully furnished with TVs for my brother and sister, a guest room fully furnished as well with a TV, and how I was in the basement with sheets for walls and bathroom mats on the floor completely dismissed it cause it was normal to me. It wasn't till I was 20 that I found out that the family trips that I didn't go on were paid for with money that I was getting from my dad passing away. I'm sure I got some of the money in food and clothes and whatever I needed. But it's got me pretty asterisk 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 up cause my brother and sister don't have any memory of it and when I talk about it, they always back my parents by saying we were raised right and I opted out of vacations. They also thought the guest room was my room. Add on. I just wanted to thank everyone for being so kind and welcoming with your thoughts. There is a lot and this whole day has been way more emotional than I could have ever, ever expected. I'm trying my best to get back to everyone, and if I miss you, it was an honest mistake. Again, thank you everyone, you all deserve the world. Also, if any of you need someone to talk to, my door is always open. After a ton of messages hounding me to add an Amazon wish list. Here it is. I added a bunch of expensive stuff that I really do hope no one buys. It's list is stuff I'm hoping to buy myself in the future. A toddler drinking a wine cooler. The whole family was asterisk 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 up, but that stuck out to me for obvious reasons. I was only 18 at a party, drinking underage, and had no idea what to do when I saw that. I made a comment about how little kids probably shouldn't drink alcohol, but the kid's mom got scary defensive about it. Slept over at a friend's when I was around 10. She was the only girl in her family and had five brothers, whose ages ranged from like 4 to 15. Everything about my friend's room slash sleeping situation was normal. Their brother's room was bizarre. They shared one big room with three bunk beds. Each mattress a fitted sheet, a pillow, and nothing else. No top sheets, no blankets, no comforters. Also, the boys didn't have pajamas. They all just slept in the clothes they had worn that day, with their shirts tucked into their pants, and ults on too. The room didn't have a door, and neither did their connected bathroom or their closets. Turns out they were fundamentalist Christians, a boy's setup was meant to prevent masturbation. Went to a friend's house that had dog asterisk 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 all over the floor. Roaches by the thousand including dead in the microwave and freezer. And to make matters worse they had a healthy dose of bed bugs too. His excuse was he's busy from working all day. The guy was a hairstylist too. Yikes. I didn't see this happen. Thank asterisk 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 god. But here's the story. 
I had recently moved to a new town before my freshman year, little asterisk 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 Holden KS, and made a few good acquaintances, was still learning who's interesting and who isn't, etc. This one kid. I honestly don't remember his name, seemed cool, he was into video games and stuff, we hit it off, ended up hanging out at school off and on, etc. So, one day, asks if I want to come over after school, and I couldn't for some reason, probably work, I don't remember, he says to me that's fine, I'm sure my neighbor will come over, and we'll end up watching movies, and jerking off anyway. I laughed thinking he was being facetious, or whatever, but he doesn't laugh. He. Does. Not. Laugh. Looks at me, and turns his head a bit, I'm serious, my dad's friend comes over, and we watch movies and jerk off. I thought you might want to. I did not continue the conversation, I never spoke to him again, and I also never said a thing about it to anyone. Looking back, I wish I had. Pretty sure that dude was being molested, looking back, and knowing what I know now, the fact that he was so matter of fact about it, I'd bet money he had been molested most of his life asterisk 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 terrible. I was maybe 12, and visiting a friend who lived deep in the woods for the first time. They had two outdoor dogs, and one got free, and ran over, and attacked the other. The dog that got bit was quite a bit smaller, and was definitely injured. My friend's dad came out with a pistol and shot both dogs. It changed my life forever. I was raised in a house, where dogs are family. My friend and his family didn't seem phased at all. Edit, this really took off, so I guess I can elaborate a little more. This happened around 1994. I grew up in an extremely rural town. So when I say my friend lived deep in the woods, I'm talking like they were completely off the grid backwoods. One of the dogs was my friend's and the other was his sister's. They were chained up outside 24 over 7 and just not treated as pets at all. I believe the logic behind the shooting was that the sister's dog was too injured to recover, and my friend's dog had killed his sister's dog. So it was only fair to shoot them both. About 30 minutes after the whole thing happened, we all ate dinner together like nothing happened. My parents picked me up shortly after, and I cried the entire way home. We only hung out at my house after that. When I was like 10 I had a friend that had a room that was just filled to the ceiling with trash and they just started playing in it, and asterisk asterisk asterisk. Kinda the opposite. Had a friend over when my dad went on a tirade screaming and yelling at my brother and I. We thought it was normal to have emotionally abusive parents. After that, that friend never came over again. I went to his house. And his parents seemed a bit more interested in me. By the time we graduated high school I got my diploma and walked over to hug his parents before my own at the ceremony. When I was younger I was best friends with two brothers from Jamaica, one of the days they asked me to stay over, so we could play some Atari, after we finished playing outside. We came home 12 minutes after their curfew so their dad who was extremely calm told us to sit in the living room, I sat in there with my two friends and they were super quiet which was a bit weird, until their dad walked in with a belt, and beat the living asterisk 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 out of them. Asterisk 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 myself, not literally, because I thought I was in for a beating, but he didn't hit me which was a huge relief. After the beating he, their dad, asked if I would like some carrot juice, while my friends just went back to normal and set up their attery like nothing happened. I was sat on the sofa wondering what the asterisk 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 just went on. Had a friend whose family lived on a huge property and kept cows for the property tax exemption, not dot. He told me to come by and get some purple ring as he collected for me, he invited me in to meet his parents, and I swear to god, there was a full size cow chilling on one of their couches in the living room. That sight was way more wild than any of the hallucinations later experienced. Really nice people though lol. I saw the mom of my friend laying on the couch and her other son was petting her women bits with his foot. And it wasn't the right kind of playful. It was very sexual and the look on both of their face was like right before a porn movie. My friend and I were right there and nobody batted an eye. 
In fact she started to give me the same look. Me my friend were 15 and his younger brother 11. I babysat for a family on occasion and the kids would always ask for a cool cup, and I had no clue what it was. They asked for them constantly, but were too little to really describe them enough for me to understand. I mentioned it to the mom, in passing one day and she started laughing, and cut the tops off of some bell peppers, and took out the seeds then point then filled the peppers with tap water. The kids went nuts over them like they were treats. It was really weird to me that drinking water out of bell peppers was a thing to beg for on the regular. Dad was cooking meth in the attic. He was a backquote scientist and these were his backquote science experiments. My friend and his older sibling thought nothing was strange about this. I was 13 and knew it was a meth lab right away from the smell, cat piss. They taught us that neat fact in the dare classes in school. 6th grade. Sit down at the dinner table with friend, his dad, mom, bro, and sees. Dad just casually puts some hardcore porn on their big screen TV, when nobody had one really, and they were enormous, while we are all just eating dinner. Doesn't skip a beat as he goes right back to his plate. That friend is now famous. Edit, I didn't grow up in my current city. Not my friend, but her ex-boyfriend. And his mom were very touchy to a point that it made everyone highly uncomfortable. His mom hated my friend and made a point to be touching her son constantly. I even watched him to try and kiss his mom on the lips in front of everyone and on another occasion, she pulled him into her lap. He was 17. I'll be the weird family, although this doesn't quite fit the normal since no one thought it was normal. I was about 12 or 13 and I had a huge zit on my ass that was incredibly painful and it was deep under the skin. I couldn't pop it no matter what and in my extreme pain sitting down I asked my dad to pop it. I said alright and I took down my pants and bent over, my dad then put on gloves to pop the zit. Anyway, in little of all this my sister's friend, girl, at 10 or 11 walks in on us at full speed as we were behind a wall that connects the whole sector to the living room, so she was real close. She gasps and walks out of the room. Yeah, there we go. Yes, the asterisk 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 popped, one of those water containing zits that cause a lot of pain. Edit, in Croatia we don't make a big deal about accidents like this, nor is something like this inherently abnormal, it was the lack of context and the swiftness of it that got her, and she just bolted out. Edit, holy asterisk 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 did I not expect this to have 8k asterisk 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 up votes, when I woke up. Some people are confused, the da helping, is not the weird part. The weird part is a little girl coming over to a friend's house and finding a grown man, dad, both hands on a naked bent over son's ass up close. Our living room is on level two thirds of our house and you can hear people coming from the stairs up into the hallway, except this time the door was closed and it was a slightly chubby little girl, so we didn't hear her until she burst into the room. I was about 11 or 12 and my sister was 9 had zits on my ass and asked my sister if it was visible since we were offered a really old mortar house in the hills where my grandma lived at the time. Mortar build, old windows, air was stale af and we were sweating like pigs in a summer night in old bed sheets that did not let air pass, the house is on a hill before a mountain covered in trees that block fresh air at night. She said she'll take a picture with the phone so I can see. Anyway, six months later, while my friend is scrolling my phone to find a picture I took of him, he finds the acid picture or pictures. The reaction was a weird look. Lol. Also my other grandma told us once she used to eat chicken asterisk 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 as a kid as well as pieces of walls along with other kids. I never had to examine what I just heard so much at that time. Don't think I processed that well. Ain't the half of what I've seen there, like dead worms in my food. Dude had a carpeted bathroom. Already asterisk 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 up. Dude had asterisk 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 mushrooms growing out of the carpet. By god my embarks bro. I shared a house with a bunch of people who regularly set their farts on fire. 
I don't know why. They just did. Even when they were not drunk. This appeared to be normal behavior for them. I had a friend when I was 13 to 14 whose family didn't speak at all when they ate dinner. The first time I ate there I tried to make conversation and got a super weird glare and shake of the head from the mom. After dinner was done everyone would just go back to doing whatever. I remember thinking at the time while I ate in awkward silence why would anyone want to eat like this every day? I come from a family of 8 where dinners were chaos so maybe I was conditioned too far the other way. They let the dogs and cats into the basement to go to the bathroom, even though they had a fenced-in backyard. The whole house smelt, even the kids, when they went to school. I celebrated Christmas with my HS girlfriend's family one year. It was her mother's turn to open her presents and she opened one from her daughter, and one from her other daughter, then finally one from her husband. Then her husband started pulling tiny hidden gifts for his wife from everywhere, earrings from the couch cushions, necklaces, bracelets, a bag of candy, and flowers. He had at least a dozen presents hidden everywhere from behind the curtains, in a lampshade, behind the TV, in a closet, they just kept coming, and he had the biggest grin on his face. When he was done he wished her a Merry Christmas, told her he loved her, and kissed her right on the mouth in front of me. It was wonderful, but extremely weird to me. It wasn't until that display of love and joy for his wife that I realized I had never once seen my own parents act the least bit affectionate towards each other. That I had never heard them say I love you to each other. That's when I realized it was my family that was weird. It wasn't until that display of love for his wife that I realized that it was manly to be romantic and to show love and affection. Her parents were wonderful people and I will always regard them as role models. I hope they are doing well all these years later. In second grade my friend's parents were separating and the dad kept screaming at his wife through the phone. The kids acted like it was normal, but I was freaked out. I'd seen parents argue, but not lose all respect for each other. My mom told me the next day that I was to call her if that happened again. She thought it close to becoming a domestic incident. My house but looking back it's unusual. My dad was a doctor and it was not uncommon for him to take a patient's blood on the way home and store it in the fridge next to the orange juice overnight. Then take it to work the next morning. Can't do that these days of course, but the 70s was pretty wild. When I was in junior high, I went over to friend's house for the first time. His parents were hoarders and their basement was waist deep in newspapers, magazines, junk mail, catalogs, phone books, and other loose papers. You had to crawl over it to get to his room. He acted like it was no big deal that the papers were higher than the couch or that an avalanche happened every time he opened his bedroom door. That was the only time I went over. Not scooping cat litter. I mean I'm sure it eventually got scooped but rarely. Their house always stank, but they didn't seem to notice. My friend's dad convinced the kids that the but of each loaf of bread was the best. He also outlawed hitting, but placing your hand on your siblings' shoulders and punching your own hand was acceptable. It was Noel's turn to get the end piece on the next loaf of bread, but he and I were playing when groceries came in. What only took the end piece Noel went ballistic, but by ballistic. He placed his hand on his brother and was punching it. The father also collected pipe organs. He had several electric and electronic consoles. One time I took a trip across the country, disassemble a full pipe organ, and pack it home. They bought a geodesic dome and rebuilt the organ inside it. You entered in pipes, there were pipes on the walls, great chests for the living room floor. The living room was a console and they literally lived inside a musical instrument. Was sleeping over at a friend's house in 6th grade 3 p.m. We show up to her house after school. We walked into her apartment to find her mom half-dressed, bust out drunk, and sprawled out with her head on the floor, one arm twisted weirdly so it somehow was resting on the coffee table, and her legs on the couch. TV was on and blaring. Didn't even notice our arrival. 
I had zero experience with this kind of thing, and although I could tell my friend was embarrassed, I didn't understand the full implications or really what was happening. I pretty much just thought it was an odd place for a nap, which is how I explained it to my parents later, when I commented on how odd it was to be napping there instead of in bed. I might have even asked them if they would let me sleep on the couch and watch TV too. Bless my parents for immediately understanding the situation, but not making a scene, and not spoiling my naivete or ever embarrassing my friend in any way. My family is pretty good at being subtle. For better or worse. However, that was absolutely the last time I stayed at her house. All sleepovers with that particular friend were at my house from then on. But it was a casual coincidence from my pov I didn't even notice that subtle change for a couple years. Looking back, I think my friend really appreciated it though. We are still friends, and she has kids of her own, and she's doing great, is a doctor, but her mom still has the same alcohol struggles, and is very in your face about it even now as she was then. One of my best friends from college's family watches QVC and other channels that are straight up commercials all day long lol. My friend who's Australian like me, has parents who emigrated to Australia from Scotland. She speaks with an Australian accent. I visited her parents house with her and she started speaking with a Scottish accent. I was like WTF are you doing? Found out that's just how she speaks with her parents. In high school I would stay at my friend's house a lot and play video games and sleep over. My friend's mom would encourage his little sister and her friends to put on skimpy outfits and try to seduce me and his other friends take their tops off in the hot tub and things like that. His mom would stand at her bedroom window and watch her daughter try to bang all his friends. I didn't get it at the time, but I secretly think his mom was the one who wanted to bang all of us, so she told her daughter to instead. His mom would also drink a bottle of wine and touch us inappropriately touch our stomachs or slap our butts, and say things like oh have you been working out, and my friend would just say like cut it out mom you're embarrassing me. The whole family was weirdly sexual, and I learned later they had some dark secrets. My friend's mom told him to masturbate later today, just casually like it was a regular thing, to say to your kids. He was just like, yeah sure. Not at my friend's house, but we were 15 year olds, and went for a walk to her mum's friend's house to get her some smokes. We walked into the house and the 2 year old was covering themself in margarine, the 4 was covered in roaches, animal poop, used nappers, diapers, and rubbish. There was peanut butter on the walls and kitchen table. It was so incredibly sad to see dirty and disheveled kids living in that. The weirdest part was seeing the toddler smearing margarine in their hair, and no one caring. Best was disgusting, but I'd seen that kind of living before. Never the complete indifference towards a baby though. Awful. Their dad swimming naked in their pool when they had friends over. He would often do it when girls were over. It, the guy was deranged, and his kids hate him. The story gets stranger. My friend's mom and him are divorced yet still live in the same house, even though they have been separated for almost 8 years and sometimes her boyfriend comes over. I've heard stories from my friends that they've heard them have sex upstairs while they're in the kitchen with their dad. I can't make this asterisk 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 up. I had a friend in HS. We are still friends today actually. His mom was a hoarder. There were little pathways throughout the house, but it was filled, from floor to ceiling, with junk. In the hallway to the bedrooms, she had stacked every newspaper she ever got. They were tied up in bundles. You walked in that hallway he would caution, to not touch the papers, because if a row fell, it would take a couple hours to dig yourself out. They had a huge outside trash can in their kitchen. A friend of my ex-girlfriend lived with her grandmother. The woman had cats. Lots of cats. And there was asterisk 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 all over the house. And there were flies all over this asterisk asterisk asterisk. It was horrible. Dude. Questions like this is how we get the poop knife. Went to this girl's house in primary school. 
I'm ashamed to say it was because I felt bad that she was getting bullied at school and hindsight she had a learning disability. She was nice though, just sometimes said really uncomfortable things for an 11 year old. Anyway she had a 3 year old brother and I saw her mum reading a book titled how to be a good mum or something similar. She started screaming at this toddler for not vacuuming his room and referencing the book. I was like. Ma'am. You expect this infant to vacuum his room? To be fair he did end up doing it but mind blown. Their family had a really weird dynamic. My friend's mom kept bread in the glove box of her car for when she got hungry. He thought it was hilarious also and we gave her a pretty bad time about it. In 6th grade my first ever sleepover I went to the bathroom and came out to him blasting porn in the living room and I had never seen porn before. We watch it for like 10 minutes and he says I'm so horny I got a jack off bro. They started cranking his asterisk 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 right there in front of me and I was shocked. The video was some fat dude cucking another guy and making him cry I'll never forget that. My dad was a truck driver who was able to bring home boxes of food if its packaging was damaged. All my friends would go home with full boxes of Cap'n Crunch and pancake mix. After a while my friends would have to tell my dad that their parents told them to come home empty handed. Here's an I was that family story. My godmother, who was practically an aunt, ran a fairly successful daycare out of her home in the 90s. She was a first generation immigrant to the US, whose parents came to the New England area from Ireland. My two younger brothers and I spent a lot of time at her home, and I was generally the oldest child there. When I was about 8 years old, she started to have me make her her favorite drink. Gin and tonic. She drank these all day, while running her home daycare. At age 8 I knew how to mix cocktails, that forks were better for stirring and spoons, and that large plastic bottles of gin were cheap and low quality. This went on for years, on pretty much a daily basis, until my family moved out west. My godmother kept her daycare running until she died, I am sure of health problems relating to alcohol. I was 15 when she passed, and I'm in my 30s now. I honestly went most of my life thinking nothing of it, until I became a father a couple of years ago. At which point I was like. How the asterisk 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 did anyone let her have a daycare? Side note, I'd but would consider myself an average drinker, if not below average. That being said, I could never stomach the thought of gin, and didn't try gin, until I was 30. This was because I once licked my finger, early in my daker bartending career, after a couple of drops of gin splashed on my hand as I was pouring. The plastic half gallon quality gin was the worst thing I'd ever had in my life, and I had no idea how my godmother liked it so much. Complete ruined my taste for gin, at 8. Was in like 4th grade. Went to this kid's house to spend the night. This guy seemed perfectly normal at school, dude's home life was asterisk asterisk asterisk. He had a lot of porn. This was before everyone had the internet, and I had friends whose older brother had a playboy or something. But this kid had a asterisk 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 bookshelf full of luck. Well Hustler was the most tame thing he had. Lots of weird fetish stuff and a whole bunch of magazines that were full of pregnant ladies. In his room he had a poster of a asterisk 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 clan member pointing, saying something like I want you to keep your heritage pure or some such asterisk asterisk asterisk. Dudes like yeah my dad and brother are both in the clan, I can't wait till I'm old enough to join. Nah, asterisk asterisk asterisk, that I don't feel good. I need my mom to come pick me up. Being sent up to the friend's room while the fam and friend was eating dinner. Yes, this was common practice in Sweden in the 80s and early 90s but it's still asterisk 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 up. Am I sitting here alone playing Gamma Boy while you peeps are eating? His parents walked around butt ass naked. Another friend and I went over to play the new Pokemon, Fire Red slash Leaf Green, all night, and eventually decided it was a sleepover slash all nighter kind of vibe. We wake up to his folks poking their heads in in the morning, 
to let us know they were making breakfast and it'll be ready in a minute. We are stoked, I walk our way into the kitchen, and they are serving up some extra eggs and sausage. Like I had never seen an adult naked before, and our friend was totally unfazed by it. Just ate and talked like it was the most normal asterisk 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 ever. Super awkward and we dipped out a sap. I had a friend in middle school whose family was really into trophy hunting, something I didn't know until I went to a sleepover at her house. Animal heads everywhere, but the weirdest part was she didn't have sheets on her bed, just animal fur. She slept naked on the fur and had no idea it was weird. I faked a stomach ache and had my mom pick me up. My gf and her little brother were staying at a sort of foster home that was absolutely filthy. They knew it was, but weren't going to complain about it, since it was still better than their last situation. But the parents there had two little boys of their own, and it's their normal. I feel bad that those boys will either realize their home is disgusting and never invite anyone over, or have someone over who then embarrasses them, or doesn't want to be their friend anymore because of it. Back in high school I was at friend's house. We had 4 to 5 guys and a couple girls over having some drinks. Eventually the girls went upstairs to use the restroom, and guys patiently waited. The host opened up a closet door, and pulled out this 5 gallon, pistoled Poland spring bottle, and said to have at it. We politely declined, and left a short while later. I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness and my mom pushed me to be friends with people within the religion. One girl was only allowed to talk to people within the religion, so she was home shoaled. She was was allowed to watch one movie or one TV show a day rated GPG with approval. Three of us, aged 16, watched Lion King to then her parents made us go to bed at 730 in the summer. She also wasn't allowed to have any posters on her wall as that was viewed as idol worship. Her parents came in to approve our prayers for the night. I left feeling super bad for her. Don't worry about the bed bugs, they don't hurt that much. My son is going to his first sleepover tomorrow and this thread is making me nervous af. Edit, well we dropped him off, and the weirdest thing was that they had snakes as pets, which I don't necessarily have a problem with. The stepdad even gave me an old Oculus Rift development kit. I'll need my fellow tech friends to tell me if this is a genuine gesture or not. I'm not super familiar with VR platforms old or new. They walked around nude at home 24 over 7. He invited me over to play Nintendo after school. When he had gotten in, he stripped down butt ass snacked and went to make a sandwich. Everyone else was already bare ass and loitering. An old school friend of mine invited me over to eat. They ate noodles with sugar. That's it. With a glass of water. He told me they are eating this pretty often. Roaches crawling around in daylight out in the open. I wouldn't sit or eat anything the three times I went over. His entire family seemed to think it was normal to have roaches where he was. I had family in the same building and their house was almost sterile. My family were very comfortable and my mom always babbas at lots of kids from around the neighborhood. Basically her place was just where the kids hung out. Once there was an emergency with my dad and my mom really needed somebody to watch me overnight, and I wound up with one of the families that she babbas at for. They were really nice people, and I was close friends with their kids obviously, because they were at my house every day. It was a new experience though. This was the first time I'd ever seen people living in real poverty. I was kind about it, and I didn't say anything, but parts of it were a real shock to me. The toilet didn't work, but they had just continued to use it to the point that it was piled up to the seat. We had to unscrew the light bulb to turn off the lights, because the switch would shock you if you touched it. I felt really bad for them. It was just a real eye opener for me as a kid, and it gave me a much better understanding of exactly why my mom babysat and fed all those kids. When I was in about first grade, my best friend at the time had a lot of temper tantrums. We were having a sleepover, and I fell asleep in her bedroom. In the middle of the night, I woke up in a different bed with her father. 
I was so confused, but explained that she had a temper tantrum and her mom went to sleep in her bed with her, so they moved me to the guest room. I was young and didn't understand that's not normal, that he was sleeping in the same bed as me, just him and me. I told my parents when I went home the next day and they were extremely concerned asking me if he touched me, etc. I was highly confused because my pure innocent mind didn't understand the concept of that lol. Now as an adult I'm like, why didn't they just move me to the other room? Why did the dad have to get in bed with me? Lol. They are truly good people and nothing happened, but it's weird. Saw some mutual friend smoke crank out of a light bulb and subsequently stay up for 3 days straight playing ping pong.